High quality always leads to the best result. It always leads to the, the lower cost. It always leads to the fastest process. So when you're looking at quality, you're looking at all those elements. Many of the enterprise systems that we talk to will not let us in the door without that quality construct. Because you know, you're just another lab otherwise. We're running, you know, a four-star laboratory, but little pockets of differences made it very cumbersome. And you, you can't scale, you can't get bigger where you have variations. We had been going at the standardization process for about 10 years and um, we thought we we needed to step it up. What we've found um, that works really well is the CAP 15189 quality standards help us ensure that we meet the quality standards of organizations that want testing. The technical clauses were actually uh, basically imported from the CAP LAP program. <laughs> so everybody was pretty much in tune with this. The novelty was a quality management system on steroids. This is a total quality management process. That means you better understand tomorrow where you are today. And, and that requires a level of rigor and really monitoring systems that uh, are novel. When we started, we, we thought we were better than we really were. And I've gotten that feedback from other labs too, that it's harder than you think, but it produces results. And it was very hard. I mean, if I brought five lab managers together and eight pathologists and I talked about standardization, um, they'd all nod their head yes, and but what they were thinking was, we should standardize, all you guys should do what I do. I think that the main value for us has been to tie, at a cultural level, all these disparate employees that we need, but you got to pull them all together in a singular quality management system, and that's the system that 15189 represents. We have definitely changed the culture of Tricor as we've gone through ISO certification. You know, you got to have the right mindset that you don't want to be um, mediocre. <laughs> you really want to, you really want to step it up and show them that you're going to do a great job. Why? Because this is the only program that you know you're going to see the same set of inspectors next year. As we went into um, 15189 accreditation, I think the the LAP inspections just became much easier. I don't worry at all if a inspector show up, whether it's CAP, FDA, anybody. I know that what they're going to find is a standard approach to problems and processes and policies. So it's always nerve-wracking when an inspector or an assessor can come on site and say, hey, we're here to dig into your processes and see what's going on. But they really come in and say, hey, we're here to help you improve. Once, once you become very standard in your delivery of results, you know, you're the laboratory everybody wants to use. We have been able to absorb more work. Our volumes have basically doubled in the last 10 years, but our workforce has gone up maybe 20%. Once we achieved CAP um, 15189 accreditation, um, we brought on a large health system and what would have normally, I would say, in the previous years taken two to three years to bring that in, we did that in six to nine months. You don't have to engage more resources towards fixing a problem because you fixed it through the 15189 approach. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money rectifying um, a deficiency because you've identified it before it happened and you, you found a way to fix it and work with them proactively. People will ask, well, is it worth it? Is the money we spend worth it? Um, absolutely it is. Again, from an ability to standardize the decreased operating costs that um, that kind of standardization and oversight brings, um, I would argue that it's worth every penny we pay for it. It's been abundantly clear to me as we've gone through this process that the 15189 certification has helped us maintain an incredibly safe environment for the patients we're committed to taking care of.